Professor Kado Asmal, who was a friend of mine and a colleague of mine, and he has served as a mentor to all of us working on this project over the last two years. I thought the Chief Justice, former Chief Justice, made a marvelous speech, which I'm not emphasizing the Bill of Rights and uh, its main cause is the right to dignity, which my husband was always very keen on that one. I thought that sort of if you had a right to dignity, everything else would flow from it. I regret that prior engagements do not allow me to share this historic moment with you all. The launching of the Parliamentary Institute of South Africa is a particularly important initiative towards ensuring that democracy will take root and flourish in our country. I must congratulate Dr. Zola Skweya, Ngosi Holomisa, Professor Wilmot James, and other members of parliament who brought the idea into fruition. In a homogeneous society such as the United Kingdom, an institution such as Chatham House has played a very important role in promoting dialogue across social divides. In a country such as ours, in which our history has been divided, it is of the utmost importance to create a venue such as the Parliamentary Institute of South Africa to focus on long-term perspectives the way the Parliamentary Institute of South Africa intends doing. It is commendable that the Institute recognizes that all building blocks of our society participate in forging our future. By bringing together members of Parliament with religious leaders, captains of industry, academics, journalists and other opinion makers, the Institute promises to achieve a quality of dialogue which bodes well for future high-level debates. Our notices of motion debated frequently and our sittings made more rigorous through interpolations and oral question sessions in which the questions we asked are actually answered. It is a poor reflection on Parliament that our members propose hundreds of motions a year and we are fortunate if but a few materialise into debates. This must change. 
When we went to Robben Island as prisoners, there were many political formations there. Most people don't realize the non-European unity movement, the African National Congress, the Pan-African Congress, the African Resistance Movement, the Azanian People's Organization. I can go on and on and on. Very many. So there, all formations struggling for freedom were represented. The debates, the arguments about policy choices and all of that were most intense. But obviously, there are issues that we will not agree on. It doesn't mean we cannot talk to each other. It is not easy to speak truth to power. The initiative of establishing the Parliamentary Institute of South Africa is both timely and overdue. Obviously, those who participate in the PISA make a similar undertaking of subscribing to the Chatham House rule. The Chatham House rule is not about secrecy. Anything said here and anything that happens here can be freely reported, but without ascribing who said what, and without listing the participants. This will be the case whenever a meeting is held under the banner of PISA. It is open, it is transparent, it is civilized. Take you through the lane of the uh, virtual cornerstone. It's a symbol of PISA. It's, it will be a symbol that will be carried through every PISA meeting. And when, when the cornerstone is present, it will mean that PISA will operate under the Chatham House and now PISA rule, which will be in uh, nothing can be ascribed to anyone who says uh, whatever they may say for the benefit of, of democracy as a democracy building initiative.